Welcome. In front of me is a Nokia G10 and today I'll show you how to bypass the Google verification. I'm gonna quickly proceed through the setup just so you can see that the device is locked. Uh, although we can actually see it right here, the lock. Uh, when the device is FRP locked, you have this right here. Now, to get started, uh, you do want to connect to some kind of Wi-Fi. Uh, I will be connecting right now, so let me just do that off the screen. There we go. Whoops. Just so you can see that it's locked. I'm gonna mention that we'll need a SIM card. I have one right over here. And that SIM card needs to have some kind of contacts on it. Just if you don't have such a SIM card, just, I don't know, pop it into any kind of phone and create a, any kind of contact. It doesn't need to even be real. Uh, and then when you're saving it, make sure you save it to the SIM card. So from there, once you have that ready, you will want to pop that SIM card into the device, which I'll do just in a second. Okay, there we go. So we can see verification through pattern and through Google account once it actually shows up. And there we go. So, I'm gonna back out to the first page right here. I'm gonna grab a SIM eject tool and we're gonna insert this SIM card. There we go. Now, let me see, I opened something by mistake. Now, my SIM card does have a pen, so I'll confirm that to unlock it. Let's get out of here. Okay, so from the first page of the setup screen, you wanna select emergency, and then we're gonna tap on emergency information, tap on that twice, then you wanna select edit, and our contact. Now give it a second, it looks like the device, okay, and there we go, it loads up the contacts for a little bit of uh, time. Uh, for you, if it loads up way longer, maybe, I'm not sure if it's dependent on contacts or just uh, how fast the phone is, but if for some instance it doesn't load those contacts in like a minute or so, I can try to reboot the device and see if after the reboot you can see them. Uh, if not, then I guess just give it some time for it to load those contacts. But anyway, from here you want to pick up any kind of contact. Like I said, it doesn't really matter what kind of contact. And then I'm gonna see. Um, I'm gonna tap on the contact. From here we're gonna select the text. In the field, type in youtube.com. Okay, youtube.com and send it. Uh, now, additionally, this doesn't need to function. Uh, the card may not be able to send those uh, ca uh, this message. As you can see, it's waiting for a connection. So I, I'm not even sending this message, but it is trying to, so it's appearing right here, uh, which is completely fine. So like I said, you don't need to have a card that uh, can send messages. It just needs to have a contact. So anyway, uh, click on the link right here. This will obviously open up YouTube. And then here we're gonna tap on the account icon. We'll go to settings. And from settings, about. YouTube Terms of Service, and this opens up our browser. From here, you wanna select Accept and Continue, and No Thanks. And then right at the top, select the field and type in um, hardreset.info slash bypass. Oh, 
like so. If you need a moment to write it, uh, pause the video. And from here, you wanna scroll down to settings, click on it. This will open up your phone settings. And from the settings, we're gonna navigate to accessibility right over here. Then we're gonna select accessibility many. You wanna turn it on, allow, and okay. I'm gonna go back and go back once more. And we're now gonna go to apps and notifications right over here. Then you wanna select see all 27, tap on the three dots and choose show system. And once you see the system, you want to find um, Android setup, which should be somewhere right here. There's actually two of them. Guess I'm gonna start off with the first one. So I'm gonna cancel. I'm gonna force stop it. Select OK, and then let me quickly make sure if I'm doing everything that I need. Okay. So once you have forced stop the setup, we're gonna now go back and we're gonna scroll down to Google. We're looking exactly for Google Play services. Google Play services. There we go. And you want to disable this and disable app. And just to make sure we can also select the four stop just to be sure. Um, from here, let's see, we need to go and add an account. I believe, let me just make sure. Okay, so um, actually we don't need to add anything. We're just gonna back out all the way, all the way to the setup screen. Okay, there we go. So we're gonna now go through the setup. Okay, so I did pause the video, try to figure out what's wrong, and I think I did figure out what uh, what's blocking us right at the moment. So we're gonna need to go back to basically where we were um, before we backed out. So again, we're gonna select our contact right here, and we don't wanna call it stop calling. So edit, contact, And again, select the text message, click on YouTube. Guess we do have to enable it. Let's go back. From here, uh, we're navigating back to website, going back to the settings, 
back to apps and notifications see all 27 show system and number one we still need to re-disable the Google Play services so disable once more and for stop go back and now we're gonna go all the way back up and this time we're gonna disable the other Android setup so I disabled the first one which apparently uh, was not the one that I'm supposed to disable so it's this one so from here we're gonna select for stop okay and we're gonna now go back again to the first page and let's hope that it's gonna finish now And it looks like it already did skip through, so we can now finish up the setup. And there we go. So we are now on the home screen. Now, before you go clicking off the video, uh, we still need to do one last thing to fully unlock the device, which is gonna navigate into the settings. There we go. Navigate into the settings. From here, scroll all the way down to system, advanced, reset options, erase all data, and then delete all data. And once you click on that once more, it will begin a factory reset of the device. Now factory reset done through settings will remove any kind of account that was previously used on this account. So the one that was blocking us will be also completely deleted. And this will ensure that the device is fully unlocked. Uh, even though we can use it still on the device right now, um, it is still locked, just so you know. So when you perform a factory reset, it will fully unlock it. Now, unfortunately, it will bring you back into the setup of the device uh, after a couple minutes of well, factory resetting it. And at that point, you can go through the setup however you like. Uh, so it's just going to be a typical normal setup without any kind of lock. And can this phone stop making noise? There we go. So uh, I'm not going to go through it because it's just going to take uh, pointless time. It does uh, take a while to reset the device. And from there, it's just a setup, like I mentioned. So I, there's nothing more that you can uh, do apart from just a setup. So this would conclude the bypass of Google account on this phone. And if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.